Hello and welcome once again to Surviving Mars. So in the last episode we first landed, we've got uh, our basic setup done. We're getting some research done, which will be needed to actually survive up here. And to be honest, I was thinking about looking for a place to put our first dome. So we've got the basic dome, which is what we're going to be building. And to be honest, I kind of want it where my rocket is, which is kind of annoying. Or at least covering all three of these metal deposits. Now the other thing, of course, is uh, I might just be outside of the range of my drone hub by doing that, which is a pain. Sector scan. Uh, new sector scan, so we'll set that one to be scanned afterwards. Okay, what I can do is I can ask for a new resupply rocket. I've got three rockets in total, one's obviously already with me. And you can buy more if you ever need them. I don't think I've ever needed to buy more rockets though. So we're going to go cargo ro rocket. Uh, I want to bring a drone hub. I wouldn't mind bringing another moisture vapor and fuel refinery. Because I think, you know, the faster that we can process f uh, fuel... In fact, we're going to do two of those each. The faster that we can produce fuel, the faster we'll be able to return the rockets to Earth. So, yeah... Getting these to produce fuel quicker, I think is a good idea. Now there's no point getting any of these because they all need to be manned by people. Which, obviously is something we don't have yet. Sterling generators can be awesome, but at the moment, they're not worth the price really. Um, we could also get... Yeah, I think a transport will be good. Okay, so if we get 10 of each of those, and then get a couple of drones just to fill out, that'd be good. Yeah. So we're going to launch the Ditmar. And that will slowly make its way to Mars. Ooh, anomaly found. Go and find out what it is. Help us with our current research. Well, okay. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Research complete. So sometimes when we get um, meteor strikes and things like that, research will appear. So it's not just from uncovering zones that you get research. Uh, we've just finished decommission protocol. Ooh. Rocket and shuttles require less fuel. That's going at number one. So that will reduce the rocket's requirement from 60 to 40. Which may not seem much, but, you know, considering how long this rocket's been here and it's only at 30, it has quite the effect. So when the new ship turns up, we'll build another drone hub. Sort of here, just on the edge of uh, this one's range. Then we'll be able to build the dome, Research. and it will definitely be within Anomaly the area. Uh, awesome. So we've just finished that research because of that anomaly. Lovely. And we've got that unlocked. That is something that I am going to want, but don't need it right now. So, yeah. Uh, I think more applicants on Earth will be a good thing. So, we'll go with that next. And we'll set both of these to be done as well. And you can come back and charge. Which will be good. Uh, 
that rocket's halfway here already, which is kind of awesome. Only need another seven fuel, and then this thing will be ready to go. Oh, you're charging, so you now have no power. Okay, that's Research kind of funny. Low G drive. Lovely. Uh, ooh, drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones, and the max number of drones is increased by 80. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Especially before we build a new drone hub. So, yeah, that'll go there-ish. So that'll cover all three metal points. So, with those two, I don't think we'll be short of metal for a little while if we get both of those. Uh, we've also got one there, of course, but sort of built over that at this point. I mean, nothing stops us moving this stuff. Uh, in fact, we don't need these solar panels anymore, so... Um, are we demolishing them? Oh, no. I set them to be repaired. Idiot. Yeah. Salvage those three. So... As you can see, it just leaves sort of a demolished one, which you can rebuild or replace or clear. You wouldn't be able to clear them if you didn't have um, that sort of Research. tech researched. Awesome, we've got drone swarm, drone hubs, so we can actually build our own drone hubs when we get this. That'd be nice. Yeah, I'll add it to the list. Uh, right, this rocket is ready to take off, so we're going to send that rocket away. This rocket is ready to land. We'll land it once this one's left, just to make sure all the drones join this, which they have. Uh, we also got a milestone for launching our first rocket. Nice. Uh, right, you are going to land... Yeah, there we'll do. Now when rockets land and take off, they do produce a lot of dust, which will increase the amount of maintenance, like, yeah. <laughs> increase the amount of maintenance that's needed a lot. So just be aware of that. Well, we've got 160 metal there already. Uh, well, let's add another couple of metal deposits then. So I would like this rover to go out and collect metal and drop it off it. So your rovers, the transport rovers can be kind of useful because you can send them out further than your drones can go to pick up metals. And polymers do occasionally land on the ground like that as well. So, And I would like a drone hub oh, just there now please. Now that drone hub will be able to access all of these storage areas as well, which is kind of awesome. Um, and then we'll have the basic dome. Yeah, just there. If we do that, like that, we'll actually cover all four metal spots. So that's awesome. Now, power will be able to be transferred through your dome once the dome has been built. Uh, but at the moment, obviously, it's going to need its own power source. So we'll just have a wind generator built there, please. Research complete. Uh, oh, wrong thing. So we've done live from Mars, then we've got productivity training. 
which these will come in handy but well you know what they're both cheap so we might as well do them and we'll knock that up as something that I would like done as soon as so I'd like that drone hub working I would also like to set the three drones that came from this rocket to this drone hub I can't find the third one it's here somewhere oh there it is there we go uh, was that all that you could find over there? Okay, well, get all this metal then, and deliver it here. Sector scan, anomaly found. Ooh, two anomalies. So that'll help us with our current research, and that is a random one. So we'll go with that first, just because having a research boost is a nice thing uh, I do have yeah I've got fully queued up research so that's fine uh, now I wouldn't mind building more of these but I am gonna need more power so get those built Hopefully I've got enough machine parts. If I don't, I might have a shipment come from Earth to top me up on them. Uh, if you push this here, you get... This will give you sort of basic information about your colony. So how much metal, how much Research concrete. Complete. You know, the standard stuff that you actually need to be able to do this. Uh, or play this game. Uh, ooh sensor towers yep so what this does is it makes sensor towers no longer require power or maintenance which might not seem like much um, especially as we've never actually built a sensor tower but these can be very useful uh, and we are going to build one right there so what the sensor tower will do is it will speed up um, how quickly these areas that are very close to it get scanned so the closer it is, the bigger the bonus, basically. So building them early and in areas that you've not scanned fully yet can be quite useful. How are you doing? Okay, you've still got a way to go actually before you're full. I couldn't get a single more um, rover because then I'd have ten in both factories. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Awesome, thank you. So now, if you could research that anomaly. Ooh. So this isn't a bad one. Um, power increase by 33% for your wind turbines. Now. This isn't something that just happens. So when I research this, I don't just suddenly start producing more power. What will happen is a little tab will appear here, which I can then use to upgrade the wind turbines. So it does cost you, and just because you've got the research doesn't mean it happens automatically and you just get that bonus. You do have to work for it still. Which I like. I like the fact that it's not just, oh yeah, we do this better and now you're generating 200 more power than you were yesterday. Yeah, no. But that's just me. Right, our drones are ferrying the resources needed for this dome. Now, I would like some of these built soon as because otherwise when the dome is built it's just gonna say oh look you've got no power and everything's wrong
So if we get six of them built, that would definitely be enough power for that. The odd composition of the debris Ooh. collected from the anomaly site has proven to be an uncrackable riddle for our science team. The experts all agree that the, mar uh, the materials discovered at the anomaly site could not originate on Mars, but they are also in agreement that they are not the remains of a meteorite or a contaminant introduced from our rockets. For now, it looks like the, uh, the origins of this debris will remain a mystery. A wise man throughout history said more than once, the more we know, the more we realise that we don't know. And with that, a genius has appeared on Earth to be recruited. So, basically what that is, is if we go to resupply and passenger rockets, if we look in perks, we've got genius. So geniuses will give you, um, I think I said this in the last episode, they'll give you something like 50 extra research per soul just for being in your colony. So they could be doing anything, but they will benefit you just having them. You then have celebrities. Um, obviously, all these traits are beneficial in some way, but these are like the best. So you've got the genius, you've got celebrity, which will generate funding every day that they're in your colony. It's a very low amount of funding, but if you get a lot of celebrities, then you could be making quite a lot of money. Uh, you then have saints. Saints will raise the morale of all religious people in your dome. And for every extra saint, the, the effect stacks. So if you have a completely religious author, uh, a completely religious colony and lots of saints, you'll be laughing because everyone will be happy. So saints can be an awesome thing to have. But we don't want any people to come yet because we've not even finished building the main sort of buildings we need. So getting people here would be a mistake. We might need to order more machine parts soon. Research complete. Uh, awesome, we've finished the drone hub and we've got drone printing. Nice. So this will allow me to build drones on Mars. The problem that I have with this at the moment is it requires people to do. Which again, we don't actually have on Mars yet, so there's no point actually doing it yet. So yeah. Uh, awesome, you are still collecting that. Good. So. Our rover is just collecting the materials at the minute and bringing them back, which is good because it's increasing the amount of metals we've got to build with. And we're just waiting on you to keep digging up the concrete so that we can actually build the basic dome. Uh, now this is just within our range. Sector scan. So we could build some concrete extractors here, and they are just in range. Yes, they are. Awesome. So we want that there. We want two solar. Uh, two solar. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's get solar because the wind turbines, although they're awesome. Every single one of them costs me in machine parts, which I do have a limited number of at the moment. Whereas metal? Well, metal I'm pretty good on, so yeah, just do that. We'll also have a couple of dumping stockpiles nearby, so that the drones don't have as far to go. Uh, we're also going to need another dumping stockpile there soon, to be honest. Um, I suppose you can do that zone next. Right. Now, I did want to actually build this in the fuel pump. 
or the fuel refinery. That was it. So we'll have that there, and we'll have you. Really, it's not flat. Typical. There we go. I can have it that side. Now, if you build these too close to each other, um, as you can see on the list there, it says status. Um, I lose some production if they're too close. As soon as you're outside of this area, you don't get that same loss. But move in, get the loss. So just be aware of that when you're placing these. You can't put them all next to each other because they'll all get a loss and it's a cumulative thing. So eventually it'll just be like worthless. But that can go there. We'll connect um, pipes. Connect up. Um, yeah, I don't need the pipe valve. Didn't want to put that in. Uh, but do want to put power in. There we go. So that will double my production of fuel. So should get this rocket off the ground a lot faster. There we go. Boom. So we're now producing 24 fuel a day instead of 12. Kind of a difference. Uh, you need maintenance very soon. Okay. Cable fault reported. It's not as bad now because both of these are within each other's range. So if one went down, the other could still repair it, but, you know. Thank you. And we've got our first concrete extractor up and running again. So that will help build um, that dome a little quicker. Ooh, Martian University. Okay. Don't really need that yet. Let's get the spire and these cheap ones done. So, what does the map look like at this point? Oh, we've got a meteorite just struck the ground there. Uh, we'll reset. Oh, we'll scan that sector next. We'll just work our way around and slowly work out. I won't go and scan these areas yet because I can't actually get up there easily yet. So the way to actually get up there if I needed to, oh, uh, oh awesome you're fully loaded so you can leave. Yeah the way to get up there would be to build a tunnel. So I could build a tunnel down here, just there exactly. Then the second half I could build up here. And what that will do is it will let vehicles go through the tunnel and instantly, or almost instantly, appear at the top. Ah, we've just finished the dome and now it's complaining about water and oxygen. Which, yeah. Um, now, as for the water, let's build a water extractor just up here. We'll plumb it in with these cables. And then get pipes leading down to there. So the only thing that we'll be working off of this water extractor will be the dome. And with 9,000 water in there, that will last us quite a while. So, we've now got to work out what dome buildings we want. Well, we definitely want a farm. Because otherwise we're not going to be producing food. And that won't work out well for us. We want an apartment block so that we can have people living there. The next thing we want are sort of amenities. 
So each colonist will have a different requirement. So some will want relaxation, some will want drinking, social, gambling, so on and so forth. So depending on what we build depends on what they get. No matter what, you are going to need a diner, a grocer's, uh, yeah, a diner or a grocer's, because they will provide food. If you don't have something providing food, your colonies will, uh, your colonists will eat raw food, and get very upset about that fact. So yeah, I would definitely advise making sure that you build one or the other, or even both which is exactly what I'm doing. So the reason I'm building both is because this will provide food and shopping. This one will give social drinking and food. So it just gives that extra thing. Um, hmm. Now the space bar gives relaxation. But so does like a lake or a garden or something like that. I'm going to go with a small garden just there and an infirmary just here. So I've got three sections left. Now eventually I can build this spire that sits in the middle uh, and there are multiple spires and each does a different thing but you know we'll come to those when we actually come across them. Uh, I could build a nursery and school and stuff, but I don't really want this dome to be for children. Like, yeah, I don't see the point of having children brought up in this dome. I might make a separate dome just for, like, rearing of children and teaching them and stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to go with a casino because that will give luxury and gambling and gaming which are three things that I haven't had yet and that will pretty much cover most of people's needs um, so you know what I'm going to go with another apartment building so that we raise the amount of colonists that can actually live here and I'm gonna leave this one blank for the moment we'll put something there eventually um, we might even put like an electronics factory or, or machine parts factory there or something like that in fact a machines part factory might be a good idea let's get a rocket so, you will produce machine parts from metal. Yes, please. I also wouldn't mind a polymer factory, which will use water and fuel to create polymers. I'm not going to bring an electronics factory because that needs rare metals, and I've not got a source of those yet. Okay, and I also want to bring loads of machine parts. And I suppose a few electronics and a few polymers. I could bring some drones as well just to fill out the rocket. Yeah. There we go. Vega 1 launch. So we'll put the machine factory there. The polymer factory sits outside. And yeah, that, that works. Now, the dome has a particular range around it. And if you build a building outside that requires workers, for example, the metals extractor, anyone that's inside this dome can travel outside the dome up to this range. So I could put this metal extractor here, and people from my only dome will come and work in it. Um, same with if put it down here or down here, so on and so forth. As long as it's inside this range. If you've got two domes next to each other and you build something within both of their ranges, 
then people from either dome can work in that building. It won't say, oh, this building only, it will be both. Uh, now, what do I want to build? Um, I'm going to need a moxie to generate oxygen. So if you can go just there, so you'll have access to power, and that will start generating oxygen for my store, oh, for the dome. Now, our farm. Your farm comes with a set soil quality. Always starts at 50%. Depending on what crop you grow, the soil quality takes effect. So, if you grow wheat, um, you'll just get 17 food, and that's based off that 50%. Which isn't a lot, but it takes a little bit of water and two souls. You can then make potatoes, which take a little bit more water, longer to grow, but they give 55 food. They also reduce the soil quality by 10%. You've then got soybeans, which do the opposite of potatoes. They give slightly less food, they take the same length of time to grow, they've got a little bit more water consumption, but they increase the soil quality, uh, soil quality by 10%. So the first thing I want to grow is wheat, then I want to grow soybeans and soybeans. The reason that I've set the wheat to the second one is when the first group of colonists arrive, it will always skip this one and go to the second one if you've set it. So, because I want wheat first, because I want to actually have grown something quickly to feed my colonists, that's why I'm doing it that way. Uh, drop the rocket just there so it's as far away from them as possible, but still in its range. Sector scan. <coughs> Excuse me. Boom, there we go. We've got a load more machine parts, electronics and polymers. Um, let's scan these areas. Thank you. Right, so. I would like that factory built inside there. And that factory built just outside here. Okay, so I've got these built. Uh, that I'll put as a pro higher priority. Just requires a bit more concrete, which is being brought over at the moment. You're going to take concrete as well, so that shouldn't take long. You require polymers. So, to be honest, I think we're actually ready to get our first colonists here. So, our rockets can only take 12 colonists. Damn. Um, but what that lets us do is be really picky about who comes. So, I'm going to say no one is allowed to come if they have a floor. So, if you've got a floor, I don't want you perks. The genius is a must come. Celebrity and saints again will be like, you know, if someone has this quality, we really want this person to come. Um, other than that, yeah, that, that's about it. Uh, age restriction. Obviously, the younger the people are, the better off in some ways. So we'll say no to middle aged. Uh, does that get rid of the genius? No, it doesn't. Excellent. So the genius is either a youth or an adult. Now, because we want to be really picky with the first colonists, we can review. Which will let us actually choose exactly who's coming. So there is our genius. They are an adult male engineer. Yes, please. Now, the buildings we've got, we've got engineering and botany. We've also got medical needs. So, 
we will grab all the medics that we can. Literally a single medic. Okay, wow. That's going to put us at a bit of a disadvantage. Um, next we'll grab some botanists. Okay, so that's five. Well, that will almost fully do a farm, so that's not too bad. Uh, and engineers will take next. Please tell me there's some more engineers. Okay, yes, there are a couple. Not a lot, though. Wow. Okay. In which case, now we're just going to base it off traits. Um, yeah, we'll have you. We'll have you. Nerd is a good trait to have. Yeah. Religious isn't a bad trait to have. Actually, we're going to need some geologists as well, because... Yeah, hang on. Stop taking these guys for a minute. We're going to take the geologists instead, because we're going to be uh, using them for metal extraction. So, yeah. And that's it, we've got our 12. In fact, now we've got 13. So we won't take you. So we've got some males, we've got some females. Or at least one female so far. Uh, any more? Yes, two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. So we've actually got more females than males. Well, as long as we've got nearly half of each, that'll be fine. So, Ditmar launch. So there we go, our first colonists will now be on their way. Now when your first group of colonists arrive, it locks you out from being able to send any more. And this is to make sure that your colony is viable before it lets you send more colonists. Um, now this is complaining that we've got a power shortage, but that's just because of these I think. Nothing else is actually complaining that we've got a power shortage. Yeah, that's fine then. Right, that's going to be unloaded. All its drones. Uh, one of them can go over here. The other three can join whatever when the rocket leaves. But I think that is where I am going to end this episode, guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're enjoying the series. Let me know if you want this series to continue. And I will see you next time.